chasing the girls. He wanted to bring his stuffed animal. Okay. I'm going to be fighting in the area that makes the most impact. She was sleeping during our discussion. Yeah, right. <laughs> Donuts, they're my mom's favorite, so she had to get some of those. How is it, Belle? It's really good. We bought this in a market. It's our principal. So beautiful. Wiped. <laughs> I didn't throw it, it was gone. So many performances. Cousin Nate served his mission here. Hi everyone, you ready for another plane ride? Yeah. Woo! I mean, there's two plane rides now. Yeah. yeah. Zoe was afraid of going on the plane at the beginning because she was afraid she'd get sick. But now, she's a champ! Rock found a friend, just rocking the night away. Day away. We are near for Rock is so fun because he always finds friends wherever he goes. We just arrived in the Manila Airport. And what are we doing the next few days? We are gonna go home. Well, we have one more, perform two more performances, and then we leave. We're so sad. Yeah. What are we getting right now? We are getting our bags. We're at the Austin State Center here in Des Marinas. It's a plane. It's a haven from the outside city. Uh, 
setting up for the woman. This is Rock chasing the girls. Our last performance is tomorrow. So we're saying goodbye to our drivers, Vince, Jeff, and and Arnon. They've been so great and so amazing. Walking to church. Thank you. Find the church. We are here at the Manila American Cemetery for World War II because they fought together in it. And there's a very special spirit here because these men gave their lives, their last breath for this war that was so horrible to help America and the Philippines be free. So. We see here all the graves of many people who have died and grit and pe names on the wall of men, of bodies that haven't been found. And so they gave great sacrifice and to God that gave, brought America and the Philippines together. And now America and the Philippines have a close bond because they fought together in this war. Standing together. In the video we watched, it said that as if it was brother and brother fighting together, the two armies became really close and formed a bond that would never be broken. We're here um, at our last fireside, and this is the we're here at the first temple that was ever created for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Church, and we're ready and excited to perform in this first building that was ever created in the Philippines by the LDS Church. It would take us forever to set up and take down if we weren't with you guys. We have this beautiful choir that is going to perform for us. The sound was great. Oh my gosh. Everyone loves rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have, I want a picture together with the grand mass. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the last debrief of our trip before we leave on our plane tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Please tomorrow, that, but God oh, will continue. continue to help us even when we get home with all our school. The saga continues. I want to go on a mission here. Okay. Dad, grab your equipment that you need to put in your bag. I'm impressed that you brought your scriptures on this long journey. That shows what's really brass important plates. to you. This has been an amazing trip. I've learned so much and I love the people. I always want to come back. I learned that I probably 
The Filipinos taught me that there's so much more to a Christ-like community than we think there is, and we can learn a lot from from their circumstances and finding joy, and that the circumstances aren't what bring us joy, but it's what our mindset and what we choose. We can choose joy. God allows us to use our agency to do things, and then He perfects it. So, like at first, we were creating our set list, like the order of the songs and what songs. Just little things that were like a little bit difficult on like on this trip. Um, now looking back, I'm kind of grateful for them because I was able to remember God. Like all the disasters, like the volcano and like the virus and like different things were happening just try to stop us. But like it shows that God, like we know that he's there because of these things. The feeling at these schools I think is a lot to do with the fact that they still say prayers in school and they can talk about Jesus Christ and so you guys as you get older and you vote and you have an opportunity to make an, have an influence remember what we saw here and how allowing the Lord to still be in a society is very good and it feels different than when you try to remove him. When you're on God's errand, you're entitled to his help. We do the best we can, and we pray that the Lord provides the increase for his influence to be heard. Because as long as there's Satan fighting, sorry, I won't say that super loud, I'm going to be fighting. And I'm going to be fighting in the area that makes the most impact. And we, we came to bless the lives of the people, but they've given... They've blessed our lives. The thing I wrote in my journal was, I listed the, the challenges uh, as we were preparing to go. And I said, we are flying into the, I use these terms, flying into the teeth of a storm. Okay? And I listed the thing, the logistics, just the logistics, pure logistics of trying to manage the size of a group. It, this has been a powerful spiritual experience for us because we move forward in faith even though all the logic in the world said stop and turn the other way, right? Well, I was humbled, uh, yet by by the gratitude, you know, the graciousness of the people. I never could have imagined in my wildest dreams it would be like this. It was awesome. Being with you guys, building relationships is the best thing. And then the Philip, you know, people were the icing on the cake. Rock, what are you thinking? Tomorrow's our last. Today's our last day. We're going to fight tomorrow. She was sleeping during our discussion. I'm thinking I'm getting a mango lemon shake tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. Christina. I want one right now. Fourth in the Philippines, and we are flying out today. What are you eating for breakfast? Waffles. I'm being very American this morning. Yes, I'm getting to see now. Hash browns. I'm getting for my last meal. I'm getting hash browns and ham and egg. Hash browns, I am an egg. Put it on. <laughs> Let me try this. Brock, is that your carry on? Yeah. He wanted to bring in stuffed animals. Get for lunch. Baked story with salt and story. Wow, this airport is so fun. We literally have the whole airport to ourselves. <laughs> because, like, it, of the coronavirus and. Not that many people want to record. So I've been to this airport multiple times. I have never seen it this empty. It is like 
not a ghost town, but pretty much. Pretty comparatively speaking, it's a ghost mask. town. And it's Would she be a good surfer? Yeah. Good sunny. Good sunny. Good Good job, Sunny. Oh yeah, bull riding in the airport. This airport's amazing. We came up and we were all here in the underwater lagoon. Good morning. Oh, it's bright. They left the car here at the airport for us and decorated with such sweet signs. Coming to say hi to our course. Days and sometimes they're all good, but all I really gotta do is smile, smile, smile. vlogs of other parts of our life and we have some new music videos coming out so stay tuned be sure to subscribe right here and be looking for our tagalog music video coming out in a couple weeks